You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. That is fantastic. Your father has finally done it. No, it was not my father, it was my mother. She sold our television and sold his radio. Oh, she did? Yes, and guess what? I can get you. Old Vegas is around the corner. I can get it. Okay, do you know that my father was very angry with my mom? Because he wants her to return all the things she sold. Did she return anything? No. Well, my mom is not just my mom now. She said I must go to school. I know she's in school tomorrow. Well, that is fantastic. I wish you were as you're in school. Eh? Thank you. Be a good girl. Thank you. Study her. And make sure you always come first on any examination in school. Thank yes. Sir. So, are we going home? Very serious about this sister. I know you will make it. I feel like you will make it. Why has she not taken my call? She told me that she will be here in a couple of minutes. And all of a sudden, what's going on? She must be the one. Yes? Elvis, my man. I am fine. You're not fine, Elvis. Is it about the girl who my father rejected you? Emeka, I do not know what is going on with my life. I can't seem to hold grip of anything. Always, you need to calm down and pull yourself together. She was supposed to be here. She called me like an hour ago. That she'll be here like in about 30 minutes. And up to now, she's not taking her calls. I've called repeatedly. And then, I just can't seem to reach her again. I don't know what is going on. Can, can, she has refused to pick my calls. Can, can I? Can you just forget about this girl? Come on, my man, stop behaving like this. Because of a woman. No. The only thing standing between me and April is her father. She loves me so much and I do love her as well. It is a mutual feeling. The only obstacle is the father. So, is the father the reason why she has not answered the call? Mama! 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 Mama!
What happened? Eh? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What happened? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. eh, I don't want it. Eh? I don't want the TV. Mama. Let it go. For what? Uh, the owner of that car is here. He says he wants to see Oga. Which car are you talking about? That car now. Ah. Oh, are you not aware that Oga went home with that car yesterday? Uh huh. I for say because I don't see the car. So what should I tell the man now? No, tell the man to wait. We don't know what you're supposed to do. Let me go and tell the man to come back. The Oga. I beg, leave here. I beg, uh, do me call me no drop the engine. I beg, I don't to suffer. I beg, I beg. As your 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 second your second nah, job. I beg, come on here and as soon as you know you, I beg, no drop and forget, come back, Obiko. Cool. I'm not your ogre. I beg, nah, I beg, I beg, forget. As soon as you know you, I'm not your ogre. Come on here. Give me a put a mess. I don't have your time. So. I beg, I do. Day and night, can get you off my mind.
April, please pick your call. Pick your call, eh? Pick your call now. You said you are coming back immediately. Look at now. It's night already. Oh. Hey. What's it coming? You are back. Yes. Welcome, sir. What's it? Uh, it's April. She left the house this afternoon. She said she's coming back immediately, but I have not seen her. With who? Um, she went to see uh, Barrister Elvis. He called her and asked her to come to his office and see him. So she said she's coming back immediately. Who is Doctor? Did you say Doctor Barrister? Who is Barrister? Barrister, Barrister Elvis. Barrister Elvis. Um, is the young barrister that wants to marry her. I was with her when he called and asked her to come see. And you allow that to happen? Uh, Chief, uh, what do you expect me to say now? Uh, she says she's coming back immediately. Uh, yes, hello? Who is this? What? Yes, that's my daughter's car. What happened? What? Where? Uh, Hello? If anything happens to my daughter, you, a vat, red train barrister will be her responsible. What just happened? What did I do? What did I do? God, I beg you, let it not be that something happened to my daughter. God, I beg. Hey, let me call her again. Let me call her number again. Yes. Her phone is switched off till now. As we speak, yes. I have tried and tried. It, it's not connecting. It's been switched off. I have a very strong feeling that something is wrong somewhere. Something I can't even place my hands on. I have been brainstorming all along, but I can't figure out something. Her father's house? No, 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 no. I wouldn't go there. <laughs> Considering the last embarrassment, the way the man treated me, I don't think it's going to be good advice to, uh, a good idea to agree uh, to. Uh... Uh -oh. That's it. Chief, what is my offense? How did he get in here? Young man, you are needed at the station for question. In regard to Mr. Priest's disappearance, please stand by. Officer, are you sure you know what you're doing? I know exactly what I'm doing, Mr. Don't say a word. It will make me angry. If you say a word. You think I'm here to check with you? I have a combined team outside there for, for your arrest. I have military, Air Force, and DSS. Now go out there. Officer, you should be very conversant with the law. And I am asking you this question. Are you really aware of what you are doing? I am fully conversant with the law, young man. Please move it. Let's go. Come on. Are you sure what you're doing, officer? Excuse me. Oh, arrest him! Or do you want me to handle you? Do you want me to help you? Please move. That's it. You don't know who you're joking with. Young man, I have tried being friendly. But I can see it's not working. You're a lawyer by profession. And I believe you understand the gravity of the face you are being accused of. So I'm going to ask you for the last time. Where is Miss April Donald? Where are you keeping her? And for the last time, I am telling you, officer. I do not know her whereabouts. You are keeping the wrong man. And I promise you, I will take this up from here the moment I leave this place. 
Words of an unknowing man. And who told you you're going to leave this place? Hmm? I keep you here as far as it takes for you to give me what I want. I know I will leave this place. Watch and see. Are you threatening the police, young man? This is not a threat. And I am not threatening the police. This is a fact. You see, are you aware that you are keeping a barrister against his will? This is a kidnap case. You brought me here against my will. Did it charge me? No. This is how corrupt you police are. You are corrupt! I am speaking the truth. How dare you speak to police officers in that manner? You have kept me here against my will. Listen, you will face it. Once I leave this place, you will face the wrath of the law legally. You have taken money from that chief and has kidnapped me. This is a kidnapped case. The only reason I am not squeezing light out of you right now is just for one thing. Just a reason. And I want to promise you something. You are dreaming by saying or thinking or thought that you're going to leave this place. I'm going to keep you here like a dog. As a matter of fact, I'm going to lock you in this dark room. So long you have refused to provide me the necessary information I need. Because I can see you're a criminal. How dare you? You mean the idiot has refused to confess where he kept my daughter? Officer, don't be soft on him. He knows my daughter's whereabout. Maybe he's angry because I refused him to marry my daughter. Just force him to say a word. Of course, force him to say a word. You know the measures to apply to make him say the truth. Uh, please, officer, I am begging you. I do not want anything to happen to my daughter. Anything. I don't want anything to happen to her. I'll make sure he rots in jail. Why would the barrister kidnap my daughter? Marriage is not by force. Now my husband is putting all the blame on me. If anything happens to my apron, I will never forgive that father. It's marriage by force. Eh, marriage opposite by force. Nachi <laughs> is blaming me for everything. Ye mama roko anye yao. Ye mama roko anye yao. God help me. If anything happened to my daughter, I swear to God, I will never forgive that boy. I will not forgive him. <laughs> You mean you know her? Yes. I know her, and her father is a multi billionaire. Yes, he used to be our client back in the days. Wow! Yes. This is my jackpot. That means something big is about to happen in my oh, life. You shut up. Pray nothing happens to this girl. Bro. Just pray hard because you're the number one suspect. You are always rejecting from nothing. Listen, I'm telling you, something big is about to happen in my life. So all I need you to do for me now is to cooperate. Cooperate with who? With you. Bro, you shouldn't have gotten yourself in this mess. Or you shouldn't have. But count me out. You shouldn't have gotten yourself in this mess. There is nothing messy about this. Well, let me think. Something big is about to happen in my life. That's what I'm trying to make you understand. She's the daughter of a billionaire. A billionaire. I don't know what you're doing to yourself. I don't win. Do you know what you're doing to yourself? Just calm down and watch. My friend, this 
might be your last chance. Tell me how much you need. I need my daughter back. Tell me how much you need and I will pay you. Chief, I swear to God I am innocent. I love your daughter so much. I wouldn't even think of harming her in the slightest way possible. Believe me. I think that I will fall for this cheap trick of yours. Damn you, baby! Damn you, baby! Damn you, baby! Which year should go wake up? Don't worry, she'll be fine. Ah, oh, thank God. She's back, sir. She just regained consciousness. Okay. Let me quickly inform the doctor. Easy, easy, easy. Take it easy, okay? You can't do that, man. I will explain everything, just calm down, okay? You're not fit for all this now. What am I doing here? Relax, the doctor will soon be here, okay? Who brought me here? Too many questions. Can you just calm down? I will explain everything to you, okay? I want to see my papa. My head hurts. Your papa will soon be here. <laughs> calm down, calm. It's okay, relax. My head hurts. Uh, uh, no, I want my papa. The doctor will soon be here. Okay? Uh, uh, Your papa is coming. I'm coming to your hospital now. Yes, I'm on my way. Thank you. I want to love you. I want to love you. Never let you decide for the rest of my life. I want to love you. I want to love you. Never let you decide for the rest of my life. Just give me. been here oh. two days now two days yes. oh my god my parents will be worried about me please can you do me a favor can I use your phone to call my parents sure why not I can do that thank you oh sir thank you you're here welcome thank you Ross how are you Ross yes was he the one who saved me yes he is <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for saving me. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank God you're up now. Thank you. Um, please, can I use your phone to call my parents? I need them to know where I am. No problem. But can you remember exactly what happened to you? Um, I recall... I recall... One of the men pushing me out of the car. That's all I remember. I was driving down to my office on that ugly morning when I saw your unconscious body 
lying along the road. Something touched my heart, unlike me. I decided to stop and help you. So I brought you here that day. You were unconscious. Day and night can get you off my mind. Thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. Thank God you are up now. Let me get my phone from the car and call your parents. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome, sir. What's up with the doctor? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Elvis had no hand in my kidney. Don't say that again. He's a suspect. He simply wanted to destroy you because I refused him to marry you. The next thing he did was to kidnap you. That's it. April. Mom. Your father is right. These are bad. And people are wicked. Not Elvis, Mom. Listen to me. I don't want that announcement anymore in this house. And I don't even want to hear that you either cling or click with him again. Not Elvis. Yet he's the devil's advocate. Not Avis. It's the devil. Mom. Elvis is a good man. He wouldn't want to harm me in any way. April, please. Please listen to your father. I don't want him to start blaming me tomorrow for being responsible of your mistakes. You should be grateful that you are alive. Parents, we come down shortly. Okay. Exercise some more patience. Um, Once again, you're welcome. Thank you. Ah, Mr. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. You're welcome. Ah, you're welcome. Thank you. Please sit down. You're welcome, then. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Once again, I want to immensely thank you for saving my daughter's life. I say thank you. You're welcome, sir. Uh, April? Daddy? Go get him some. Okay, Daddy. No, don't bother. I'm fine. Why not? Please take something now. You're like a family friend now. No, I... I don't do alcohol. Oh, it's okay. Oh. Just let him be. Uh, it's all right. So, um, what do you do for a living? Thank you, sir. By the grace of God, I work with an oil company as the managing director. Oh, that's wow. impressive. So, how is work? Fine, sir. Oh, you see? Well, let me tell you something. From now onwards, 
you are part of this family. You're welcome to this house anytime, any day. Thank you, sir. Oh, it's okay. Uh, My dear, I really don't know how to thank you for saving our daughter's life. <laughs> May God bless you. Eh? Thank you so much. You're welcome, ma. You see, ma, we do good things because God rewards good deeds. Well, I accept the fact you don't do alcohol, well, at least water is fine. I'll probably get him water. Okay, daddy. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I appreciate it. You see, that's why. See, this oil company, I know about the onshore and the profession. I know the offshore and onshore dichotomy. You know, the system is screwed up. But what can we do? We just have to manage the country as it is. Mm -hmm. I've been there, done that in your company. I've been buying shares everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I understand what you people are suffering in the oil company. Uh, well, we can do it our country, uh, so uh, we of must. Of course, we must make must it work. work it out. Yes. I appreciate it. You see, I, I like people like this, so intelligent, you know. <laughs> Bad guy. Bad guy. <laughs> so how did it go? I'm just coming from their house now. They welcomed me very well. Even their our father told me that I am free to visit that house anytime, any day. I'm now their family friend. Are you serious? Yes, now. <laughs> And I told them I work with an oil company as the managing director everywhere I post. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Why would you do a thing like that? See, yeah. the girl told me that someone came to ask for a hand in marriage and the person is a barrister. They rejected him. People who reject barrister, what did they do with anything? After the gist, I said, eh, like I knocked them oil company because everybody wants oil money. I don't understand. But you're a bad guy. You have always known you as an intentional person, but <laughs> I don't think this one will go down well with you. Naki, now the moment I said that, the man was like, "Oh, oh, you toy, you know." He was oh, just so a classic man. Yes, now it will work. Before they will find out my real profession, uh -uh. their daughter will be heading like the third baby or the fourth baby. After marriage and honeymoon. I am sure you don't know what you're trying to get yourself into. I don't think this one will go down well with you. Why? Just pray you don't end up behind bars. Oh. Uh, the way you're going, bro. I... See, I, I, I had a little fake life in my life. I had to go prison. No, for you. Perfect life. Nah, life not draft now. Okay, man, go there and say mechanic. After they don't tell me, say they reject lawyer, be barrister. Mm -hmm. Married, you know what I'm saying? They cannot revise it. Bro, I. Okay. No, make me stop to register you. Okay. <laughs> we shall see. Okay. I miss you. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I miss you. I'm not used to it today. But I'm not going to talk to you. Yes. Go on, go on, go on. 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 Go Welcome, sir. Oh. Um, I want to see your ogre. Uh, my ogre? Yes. Uh, rush, rush. Call ogre. Call ogre. Okay, just hold on. I'm coming. Chief, I hope everything is alright. Well, um, there's a little complaint here. Yeah, so, let me see your ogre first. Eh? Uh, yes. Oh, that is a little problem now. There is no problem. Oh, okay. We, do, we just fix it. Just now, now, now. Just calm down. Yes, Oga? Oga? Yeah? Oga? Uh, one Oga did there, say he wants to see you. Why he wants to see me? I don't know. He say he wants to see you first before he go tell us the problem. You for find out why he wants to see me now. No, since I'm busy. Oga, forget. No verse, I beg. Sorry for yourself. You're so, you're so, so forget. No verse. That guy, when I walk, when I don't couple him. Uh, almost. Very soon, we'll round him up. We'll just see more rest more by the side. <laughs> 
What does he look like? The guy that is looking for know. me. Now one big man. He carry better cow. He cash up well. Yeah. A big man. He has not chief self as Alessia. Let's go. Okay, sir. escape. Thank God though, that man almost caught me. I have to leave this vicinity at once. What did Chuka tell him? Okay. Imagine what you're going through. What about April? Have she come to see you? Unfortunately, no. I warned you about that girl. Where is the love she professed to you? It is not her fault. I am very sure that her father has restricted her in every way possible from coming to see me. And this end. I don't believe that. If she truly loves you, she will defy her father's order. Elvis, what if she thinks and believes in her father's view that you have a hand in her kidnap? Uh, 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 not my April. She wouldn't. She trusts me. And she loves me. Tell April that I still love her. And I really do care about her. And I have no hand in her kidnap. I'm so disappointed. Elvis. It is God love. I said that. I will advise you to get out of the land 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 Why so much? Stay back. I don't understand. But what if my parents are right? The kidnapper did not ask for anyone. They just beat me out of the kidnapper. Over the kidnapper. I would have left the kid in the kidnapper. In every case. Shut up! Shut up. 
put this thing away. It's scaring me. You, you lied to me that you love me. I, I love you. You do not love me. You don't. I, I'm sorry. Please don't, don't kill me, please. I'm gonna shoot you dead today. You lied to me that you do love me. You do not love me. I will kill you and let me see how another man will take you away from me. Elvis, please don't shoot. Shut don't kill me. to him on the phone and he told me he was in his office. Madam, my boss is not in. But I, I just, I know what I'm telling you. I spoke with him right there. Madam, my boss is hey. in. Oh. Didn't I tell you I was expecting a visitor? She said she was Shut up. The next time you try this, you will lose your job. How dare you keep my guest waiting? Sorry, Devin, I'm sorry about this. It's okay. Shall we? Of course. Can you imagine this man? Forming boss in another man's office. He even threatened to fire me. <laughs> Olivia. You have suffered. 